Hi IT students. So now I'm going to show you how to submit your original video that you created for an assignment. And this assignment, the video, will be submitted online, whether um, through email or Google Classroom. Now the video has to be stored somewhere in order to be shared. So we're going to look at YouTube. First, we're going to look at how to log in to YouTube, how to upload the video and save it to YouTube, how to ensure the video cannot be seen publicly. Of course, this is um, optional. And how to share the video link with your teacher and therefore submit your video for the assignment. So first thing you'll see I am already logged in to my Gmail account. You see my little um, avatar here. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna click on a new tab and let's go to YouTube. And you will see that it's already logged in to YouTube. So whatever I logged into on Gmail, it's also logged in on YouTube. So it logged in automatically because Gmail and YouTube are connected. And notice I can sign out from YouTube. So after what we're doing, don't forget to do that, to sign out. Right, now, what are we doing? We want to upload the video that you created. So there's an icon here called create. Click on that and it says upload video. Okay, now it's asking to drop and drag and drop video files to upload. So I can do that or I can click on select files. If I click on select files, it opens a window asking me to select the place like your desktop um, or folder where you have the video saved. Now I have the video saved A very short three second video and I'm just gonna drag and drop it that seems to be the easiest option now you'll notice it's processing the video so let that go ahead and process the video and here I can type in a title next we have a description so you can type in the your name right student name your form maybe a description um, you can describe what the video is about maybe okay right so you'll see now my video has been processed once you see a picture an image come up it has been processed and I can choose a thumbnail. Now the thumbnail is the first picture that you see in YouTube. Now all of these look the same, so it doesn't matter which one I choose. Okay, um, then let's go to more options and nothing here. Oh, you can take out publish to subscription feeds and notify subscribers, allow embedding, you can take out those two. Okay, click next. We can click next here as well. All right, we're on number three, visibility. Now we have some options. We can save or public in three, um, publish, sorry, in three ways, privately, so only you and people who choose, you choose, can watch your video. So if you log into your YouTube, only then can you show people um, your video. So that's private. Next option is unlisted. 
where you can upload your video but send the video link for anyone to see. That is the one you're going to be selecting. So the video is going to be uploaded but you cannot, no one else can go and search for it and find it unless you sent them the video link like what you need to do for your assignment. And the last one, of course, is everyone can watch your video. It can be set to public. So for the case of the assignment, we want to click on unlisted. And then we click on save. OK, and the video has been published. Now, you will notice here the video link. And there's an icon. If I just point it, it says copy video link. So I'm going to click on that. And it says link copy to, clip to clipboard. I'm going to click close. And my video came up in my list of videos. So I know it's uploaded. And I can select it and I can edit it. I can delete it. Um, anything you wish to do or I can change and make it public if I if you decided to do that. Now, what you're going to do, remember we copied the link. So what you're going to do now, you have two options. You can email the video link or post it in the Google Classroom and turn in that link. I've shown you that in another video. So the link was copied. So all I have to do now is right click and paste. And here is the link to the video. This is what you are submitting to your teacher via email or through the Google Classroom. And that's it.